welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe, notification bell, share, like, tell a friend. Hi, welcome back to the channel. You know, I was sitting right here and, you know, I'm thinking, I read a comment, you know, one of my closest friends said, I need to be more lively on the channel. You know what I'm saying? So let me guys, you guys let me know if you think I'm a little bit not lively enough on the channel. I will lively up for you, okay? So let's get into it. All right. So today, what we're doing, we're doing a curry conk, rundown kind of stew with okras and all of that. VIP style. One of my favorite to eat. When I'm in the islands, you know what I'm saying? But right here, we can't afford conk. It's very expensive. Let's get into it. Ingredients. So, I got all my vegetables already prepped already. I got assortment of bell pepper. I got a little bit of potato in there. I got onions. You know what I'm saying? I got carrots. And I got okros as well. All right? Over here, I got the conk right here. You know what I'm saying? And in Spanish, I don't remember the name, but I'll tell you later before we finish with the film. I got my abinara pepper right here. Got some scallions. Allspice. Bay leaf. Little bit of thyme. Because I'm going to try to put some of this into the pressure cooker. We're going to cook it down. Okay? And I said coconut milk. I got half a cup of coconut milk in here, which we're going to put in there after it come out of the pressure cooker. And here is my mixture right here. You know, I got the VIP green marinade, the rub, whatever you want to call it. I got some curry powder in here. I got salt and pepper. I got some um, pepper flakes in here. You know, just keeping it flavorful, you know? So we're going to get into it. And you know, you can cook conk with a white rice or some dumpling, yam and banana. So I'm going to do a quart of white rice as well, which is a little bit too much on a quart, but I'm thinking I got it down to a tea, so I'm not worried about if I put a little bit more into it. So let's get into it. I'm going to cut this a little bit of this. You know, I'm going to drop it in into this just to give it a little bit of flavor when it's cooking. You know, but these are going to cook out when it's in the pressure cooker as well. And I'm going to let it sit in the marinade for like maybe two hours, you know, just to kind of get some flavor to it. Yeah, so you guys let me know if I'm not happy enough on the channel, okay? I'll get more happy for you guys. Um, bay leaf, thyme. I'm going to do the same amount of seasoning to start it and to finish it as well. Started to cook it though. When I'm gonna finish it, I'm gonna drop these inside of here for more flavor. Okay? So we're gonna clean this up. Some part of this, you can eat everything if you want, but normally I don't. I try to take off all this kind of little thing right here. This is like real hard and real tough, so I don't need that. And if you guys want, you can take off all the skin off it if you want. What I normally do, I take off the darker skin off it. That's what I do. No, anything look a little bit dark I take it off all right yeah I remove the darker skin off it and if you have a better knife use a better knife but I like this knife that I'm using it's a perfect for me to use yep. remove that and make sure you don't have none of that kind of um, hard piece of the shell on it you know? and it's already been clean already when you get it you want to cut it and remove all the I don't know what to call it I don't want to use the word feces but it's feces the waste from there you know this will clean up this a little bit right here too as well get off all of that off it because it's kind of similar to like the shrimp where they got like the vein inside of the shrimp you know so yeah that look good some people beat this. You know, that off of it as well. And feel it as well. Yeah, that look good right there. Some people beat it. I'm going to pressure cook it, but I don't have to beat it. But I'm just going to show you guys an example of if you want to beat it, you know. You can beat it to make it cook easier. You know 
saying? I got that. I can use both sides if I want, but to be honest with you, I don't need to beat it, so I'm not going to beat mine. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to finish, clean up all of this, and set up everything, and get it ready, okay? When we come back, we're going to show you where we marinate it and all of that. What's going on right now? We remove all the dark skin. You guys can see that. Clean and looking nice. You know, you're not going to get rid of completely all of it, but you want to get rid of the most as you can because that hard can make it more difficult to cook. You know, so now I cut that off. And I'm cutting them. So we're going to curry them so they sit in the marinade for two hours. We're going to get it going. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. Gonna be for my Sunday dinner. Yep. Yeah, so it's not hard, it's easy, you know. It takes a little bit of time, but you have to just know how to deal with it the right way, you know. It's a miss piece right here, so I'm gonna take that off. Cause we don't really want that on it. Let's just stay for the last, alright? Get into the rest of it. Okay. And I'm just cutting them up in dice because all of my vegetables are already in dice, so I'm just dicing everything up. You know what I'm saying? Straight. Knife would be better to use, but I don't need one. I'm good like that. All right, so I'm gonna dump it in here now. I got a little bit of oil in there as well, too. I'm gonna marinate up this. Yeah, it sits for two hours in the fridge. Okay. Mm -hmm. In Mexico, they use this to make ceviche. But then the, the way you saw me was beating it, that's the way they do it. They beat it. First they kind of blanch it like, or scald it, and then, you know. They use it for that. So that look good. You don't want to put your beer on in the curry, so that's why I'm using the spoon to mix it all because it's curry stained, you know. So alright, so we're gonna let that sit. When we come back, we're gonna get into pressure cooker outside as usual, and then we're gonna start the rice, okay? See you in a bit. So the rice is going right now while we're waiting for two hours for the conk to get marinated in the right way, we're going to do the rice. So one tablespoon of my you know, VIP marinade, put a little piece of butter, more flavor, you already know. You know? Salt always the taste, you know what I say? Little bit of oil as well. Cause we always put a little bit of oil in everything. Salt for sure. A little bit of salt. Make sure you stir it up because you don't want it to start cooking the salt. Stay one place in the pot. You gotta have like a right spot right here. Salty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you guys already know to cook right rice. So I'm not even going to show you guys how to do that. You know, but it's easy. One quarter rice, or one cup of rice, one cup and a half water. One quart, you know, yeah. 
you want your rice to be a little bit softer than normal, then you can go two to one. But I like my rice nice. Yep. So that's good. We come back. We're gonna show you the rice. Simmer down and look all nice. So yeah, um, this is what we're up to. So you just wanna make sure when you put the water in there, it all depends. Just let it cover it a little bit because this is a pressure cooker. It's gonna cook real quick, real easy. You don't need to put excess water in there. Put excess water in there, you're gonna have to wait for it to reduce down to reach the consistency that you want because you don't wanna lose the water from the conk. Normally say you cook something that you don't need the water. Like some beef, you can throw the water off. But the conk, you're gonna need the water because it's all the flavor and stuff into the water. All right, so we're gonna go outside and make it happen. All right, because normally I don't cook it in here because you know when the pressure cooker steam start popping, the whole place smell like seafood or whatever you're cooking or, you know? So we're gonna set it up outside and let it cook. 15 minutes, it's supposed to be ready. 15 minutes, we're gonna check it. If it's not ready, do another five minutes. And 20 minutes, that's the perfect for conk, okay? If you beat it, 10 minutes. Because I didn't beat it, 20, 15 to 20, all right? So, all right, so as I say, season, again, double seasoning. And you know, normally a lot of people don't burn their curry, but I like to burn mine. When we burn the curry, extract more flavor out of it, you know? Yeah. Make sure you burn it a little bit, you know, a little bit of oil. I try to put a lot of oil in mine, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the seasoning. I'm gonna drop the pepper in there, hold like that. Put my seasoning. Also, not yet. I'm gonna go in the Put the coconut on the pump. So the pump is in the pressure cooker right now, so we like going in the pressure cooker. Right, as we talked about, voila, ready. Very, 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 very shelly. What I'm saying, uh, if you don't want to use the word shell, you can use fluffy and not sticking together. Whichever way, good work for you. Mm hmm. When I dump the coconut milk in here, it's gonna like kind of cook down a bit and it's gonna give off some more grease. You know, we can't really cook conch without pepper, so that's where the pepper goes. Put a little bit of salt in there. It's a VIP salt. So, after 20 minutes in the pressure cooker, take it out. Perfect texture all of that you know what I say give off a little extra water that's perfect because you want it to reduce down back so the flavor of the conch can go back into those vegetables and now I'm going to put half of this coconut milk in there because I don't want too much coconut milk in here you know what I'm saying and then like say five minutes before it's ready I'm going to put the okra inside of it you know what I'm saying yep so look at that Within 10 minutes, this water is going to disappear. And then you're going to get the perfect. See? Look at that. Conclude. Nice, huh? Yes, that's what I'm talking about. So we're going to let that reduce down to where we want it to be. Because it's going to be curry conk with the rice. You need a lot of gravy, a lot of sauce to eat with it. Let's not use the word gravy, because gravy is like with bones and meat. So there's a lot of sauce into it all right we'll come back we'll show you the plate so all right see there just drop the okras in there you know look at that mm -hmm. see so remember the amount of water we have in there before look at the consistency of that after i put okra in there okay 
turn the fire down low. Cause we don't want to lose all the liquid. We need the liquid as well. You know what I say? Feel like break this pepper in two, but because I'm not the only one gonna eat it, scare the pepper. So not gonna break it. But look at the consistency. Hmm. Nice. Mm hmm. Very nice. Look at that. So what you want to do now is just you put the okra in. Just let the okra simmer down. Don't try to boil them because if you boil them too much, you're going to lose that greenness from the okra. See, consistent is on point. So consistent build from a little bit of the potato cooked down a bit and dropping the okra in there. You know the okra release a lot of gum, gumminess. Yeah, look at that. Come got the finest. So when we come back, we're gonna show you how we play it up. Easy play it up. Maybe I'm not even gonna play it up. You know what? I'm gonna play it up. So you guys see. And I'm gonna eat a ball in front of you guys so you guys can be jealous about it. Alright? Alright. When we come back, we're gonna show you what we're gonna do. Alright. Back again. Finishing touch. Conk run down. Curry conk. Whatever you guys wanna call it. Check it out. So you can see this play of everything is there. Some little bit of potato, little bit of conch, okra, you know what I say? Carrot. And I did put a little bit of celery in there. Just my twist to it, you know? And normally in Jamaica we we'll use celery that much unless it's in the hotel. You know what I'm saying? But because you know I work from coast to coast, Jamaica, Europe, all over the globe. My palate is a little bit different, so nice, eh? Trust the process. You know what I say? Always trust the process. You know, maybe yours is not going to take exactly like mine, but if you follow the recipe, you can't go wrong. All right? Don't forget, tell a friend to tell a friend. We appreciate you guys. Appreciate everything that you guys are doing for the channel. It's growing slowly, you know, but surely. Hi, thanks for watching the video. We appreciate you. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, tell a friend, subscribe, like, comment, share, all the above.